Hey, hi there, Libra. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Today, Libra, you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Native Spirit Tarot, and one Energy Oracle card. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is the overall theme of the reading, Libra. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the star. This could be an Aquarius. Aquarius could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is the wish card. There's hope, insight, inspiration. It's great love and great hope and wishes coming true. Brings in healing and renewal. It's good health. The star guides you on your journey. This is a, the peace and the confidence that comes after the explosion of the tower and then renewal and faith renewed. This is someone that has a calm and relaxed but eager frame of mind and they're full of serenity and hope. Their calm confidence carries them through all situations. There's mental stability. It's nurturing a dream and the realization of dreams and goals are now possible. Your stars are aligning. This is being at the right place and the right time. So take heart. The start lights your way. It carries bright promises and it's a good time to begin a new project or a relationship because it clear carries blessings with it. It's major growth and development. Replenishment. Being hopeful. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Libra. The Seven of Swords, air energy. This is Moon in Aquarius. That's two Aquarius cards right next to each other. It's like having the High Priestess in the star. This is someone who might be using evasive tactics to avoid a confrontation. They may be tiptoeing around, trying to take the right steps with care. They may be sidestepping an issue or stepping over boundaries. Could be someone taking a risk to get away from the truth or getting what you want in a clever or sneaky way and then feeling uneasy about it. This could be someone that's not looking where they're going. They could be running with other people's conversations or wanting to take back harsh words or get away with them. Could also be using words to keep other people at a distance. And in this position, it brings in a challenge, some tension, restrictions. It can represent someone is seeking advice and help from others. It can also be the possibility of some good. It would be unexpected. This could be sound advice or sometimes even gossip. It's wishes about to be fulfilled. Could also be good advice, probably neglected. The star with the seven of swords are both Aquarius cards and it's healing from deception. And your consciousness is about to expand as you quest for knowledge and growth. It's using your intellect objectively and not your emotions for best results. It's looking ahead of naysayers and it's remaining detached and you may need to come up with an action plan. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Libra. The Three of Cups, water energy. This is Mercury in Cancer. A card of celebration, cooperation with others. Did I say this was Mercury in Cancer? This Mercury always has to do with the mind and communication messages, 
Cancer is emotional, and this can represent an intelligent exchange. It's healing and abundance. There's positive growth patterns. Something's completed, and it brings people together, and they share and enjoy the moment. And they share experiences. This can be a stronger commitment between two people or a circle of friends. You could be celebrating something like a birth or engagement or a wedding or reunions. It is a positive group experience with delight. It's a happy occasion, lunch or drinks, even after work. It's having emotional breakthroughs and extending goodwill and growing and thriving in friendships. Could even be finding a new love. The star with the three of cups is a happy resolution to celebrate. Could it be a reunion? It's hope and friendship and happiness and rejuvenation. Your fourth card. It's the card of the future. It's the outcome. The results and the advice. This is your prediction, Libra. The three of wands. Fire energy. This is sun in Aries. This is Aries energies. Aries could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be, though. Three of Wands is always the seeker. This would be you, Libra. Expecting something and waiting. This is about something that's already been set into motion and being in a holding pattern, waiting. It's looking forward and being hopeful. This is the fruit of partnership that was begun with the Two of Wands and its expansion and growth is now certain. It's expanding your horizons planning, strategizing, acting on intentions, exercising creative powers. It's broadening your horizons, delegating, thinking, gathering input. It's working on already established patterns and looking from higher ground to see what happens. It's looking towards the future and plans being underway. It's expanding in movement and progression. And there's commitment to your plans. And there's a project that's about to be completed, and, and benefits will be reaped from these enterprises. The star with the three of wands is, as you get what you want, destiny calls. This is a realization of a long-held dream, and that's what you've been waiting for. It's really good, Libra. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Libra. The Six of Swords, air energy, this is Mercury in Aquarius. That's your third Aquarius card. This has to do with a transition, a movement of any kind, it's recovery, mental healing, and support. There's a calm and undisturbed future ahead, and you're leaving your troubles behind, and now there's going to be smooth sailing, and it's like the calm after the storm. This is a move or a journey, and being protected and redirected. And this change goes smoothly, and there's relief at what you left behind. This is riding out rough times and coping. It's getting by despite troubles, and slowly recuperating. The star with the Six of Swords are also both Aquarius cards, and it's going with your head over heart and trusting in your analytical ability, and that will lead you to the right solution. The Seven of Swords with the Three of Cups is feeling like an outsider. The Seven of Swords with the Three of Wands is someone may have restricted growth or action, and it's planning to take a risk. It's like faking it until you make it. The Seven of Swords with the Six of Swords is someone that is mentally confused. They could be escaping from a mentally painful situation. The Three of Cups with the Three of Wands is putting your ideas into action. It can also be community networking. Two threes in a reading represent a subject of reflection and also calm. The Three of Cups with the Six of Swords, these are emotions that isolate you. It's feelings of loneliness, even in a group. The Three of Wands with the Six of Swords rep represent travel. Could be distant travel, a vacation. It could also be planning on moving. Here's your 
native spirit tarot, came out reversed, Libra. The Queen of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Queen of Wands came out reversed. This says you need to show confidence. If not, fake it until you feel it. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. It's just that I just said that. The symbol is a powerful woman displays her energy confidently, awaiting people for her favor. Her staff shows power to judge, and the black cat is a symbol of feminine wiles. And then when it comes out reversed, this person could be insecure. They might also be vindictive. And now here's your energy oracle card by Sandra Ann Taylor. Card number 23, all tied up. Card number 23, Libra, all tied up. Lack of motion or sense of personal freedom. This card shows a woman tied up with vines around her wrists, body, and arms. Receiving this card upright meant a situation in your life where things seem to be severely stuck. A major drama may be going on around you, stopping you from moving forward, or it may be that some technical technicalities are blocking your way. Perhaps you're waiting for a contract to be signed or an agreement to be made. Whatever is holding things up, the restrictions may be feeling quite oppressive at this time. If this isn't technically the case for you, what's tying you up is your own personal stuff. Look at your life and see how you can be your own jailer. Are you tying yourself up in some emotional problems, or in a negative habit that you refuse to deal with? If so, it's time to cut the vines and make some serious changes now. You needn't live in your self-imposed jail any longer. And here's your affirmation. I release stuck energy, old habits, and restrictions. My life is opening up, and I am free to choose my reality. I release stuck energy, old habits, and restrictions. My life is opening up. I am free to choose my reality. I release stuck energy, old habits, and restrictions. My life is opening up, and I am free to choose my reality. Thanks, you guys, Libra. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings.